Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable the Windows Recovery Environment in Windows 10. So if you ever wanted to boot from advanced options and access some of the Windows Recovery features, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that if they're presently disabled. So first thing we're going to do is check to see if it actually is disabled or not. In order to find out, it's very simple. We're just going to open up the Start menu and type in CMD. Press match to go back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you're prompted with a user account control window, select yes. Now what we're going to do is type in REA G E N T C space forward slash info. So again R E A G E N T C space forward slash info it will be in the description as well and I'll also probably have it up on the screen of the video as well hit enter on your keyboard so if the status is already enabled that's good that means you don't actually have to do anything so we can actually just go ahead and boot into the recovery options which I'll show you guys how to do in a couple moments there's different ways to do it but I'll just show you going from the desktop and for some reason if it says disabled here we're going to type in REA GENTC space forward slash enable so again R E A G E N T C space and then a forward slash enabled or enable not enabled you want to just type in enable no D at the end hit enter should say operation successful so it was already enabled before but just to give you guys an example that so that's just what you type in if it said disabled previously and in order to see the recovery options you can just open up the start menu Select the settings gear icon on the left side. Go down to the update and security tile. Select recovery on the left side. And then there should be an option that says advanced startup. Start up from a device or disk, such as USB or drive or DVD. Change Windows startup settings or restore Windows from a system image. This will restart your PC. So if you selected this restart now option, And underneath choose an option, if you went ahead and selected troubleshoot. And then advanced options. You see now we actually have advanced options listed in here. So basically these are a bunch of the Windows recovery options that you have to play with around here if you had an issue. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.